Hi, I'm X O'Connor with Full Circle Music. We're here in our studios in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm answering your questions about the music industry. So you all asked, do I have any tips for recording vocals? And the answer is a resounding yes. First tip I have, and this might seem obvious to some of you, but it might be enlightening to others, is always use a pop filter. And this really has two purposes behind it. The main reason you wanna use one is to make sure no bursts of air come through on really hard consonant sounds like B and P, stuff like that. You don't want those really strong bursts hitting the diaphragm because you get this big plosive sound that kind of just blows up and sounds distorted and crackly and, and really just unpleasant. So by adding a pop filter, it actually breaks up the air dispersal, so it makes sure that burst of air doesn't hit the microphone. That's the main reason to use one. But the second reason has to also do with the tone of the vocal. I like to use my pop filter to actually help control proximity effect. So what's proximity effect? Proximity effect is how close you are in relation to the microphone and its effects on the overall tone. So normally the closer you are to the microphone, the more low end presence there is in the vocal sound. And the further away you are, the less low end there is present, the more open the vocal feels. And the problem a lot of people find when they're dealing with vocalists are they do this when they're singing, or this even. They're moving around, so the proximity effect is changing, so some parts might have a really nice warm sound and then they back off and it gets thin or they move to the side and the volume drops real quick. That can all be a huge pain in your vocal cutting process and it can be really hard to make the vocal sound consistent throughout the entire song. So use that pop filter as an anchor. What I like to do is I set it just a couple inches away from the actual microphone, maybe two and a half, three inches. I set it right about there and I tell my vocalist, just lean into that and don't move. Just keep your nose pressed right up against it. And you'd be shocked with how easy it is to get them to just do that. They just stay planted right on it. And if you see them move, just remind them, hey, just stay planted right there on that. Just get your nose right on that pop filter and just sing out. That way, you got control of the proximity effect. You can space the pop filter however you want. If you need it closer for a little more warmth, you can move it in. If you want a little more openness to it, you can pull it back from the mic, but then you don't have to worry about their heads bobbing all over the place. Just tell them to get their nose right on it. And so it gives you a nice, consistent distance to the microphone the whole time. Second tip I've got for you is don't over process things on the way in, especially if you're unsure about what you're doing. What I mean by that is don't worry about doing a ton of EQ on the way in or a ton of compression. I know a lot of times when people are starting out, they see all these videos about really complex vocal chains that all these guys use and like five compressors and six EQs. Like my vocal chain, it has a ton of compressors in it, has a ton of EQs in it, but I've been doing this for a long time and I've been working on just getting the balance of all of that right. If you're just starting out, it can be really hard to know what you're doing. And if you're doing it on the way in when you're recording, it's, it's permanent, it's always gonna be there. So I would advise you, don't do as much processing on the way in. Get a nice, clean sound, and then rely on once it's into whatever DAW you're working in, Logic, GarageBand, Pro Tools, Cubase, whatever it is, then work on processing it some, because once it's in, you can do anything you want to it. You have a nice, clean signal to work with, and that's really always the best way to have it. You don't want to worry about trying to fix a mistake you made initially. Just get a nice, clean sound, use that pop filter to make sure they're not moving all over the place, to keep those plosives from hitting the diaphragm, and to make a nice, consistent vocal sound. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you smash that like button below. It would really help us out. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we've got tons more videos coming out just like this where we'll be answering all the questions that you have about the music industry. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you're interested in a very specific free training class that answers a lot of your questions about actually getting a career in the music industry, then click right here. Or if you just wanna see the next video that answers another popular question about the music industry, click right here.